we're going to teach you how playing the flute with your golf club can really change the pattern of how you swing the club down. Hey everybody, Milo here, and I'm joined today by a special guest, one of my best friends who happens to be an awesome movement coach, Luke Brackey. Yeah. So Luke, uh, I don't know how long ago it's been, but about a month ago, I think, on your Instagram, yeah. I saw this video of you playing the flute with the golf club. Right. So I think you and I both see like this problem tons where people are real active with their arms and, and, and want to really generate speed there. So if we hold the golf club for like the, a flute, the club really gently with playing the flute right here with our fingers, little split grip, the grip split. Now all pretty much motivation to yank on that club is evaporated and, and so, you can learn to square it or hit it. So we got the mass up just a little bit like this. Yep. And now sit and turn. As I turn it naturally, the club wants to align itself to the pivot. Yep. And you just got to stay out of it. And just turn. You just got to <laughs> keep yourself out of its way. So Whoosh. why does this work? Well, I can I, feel the club shallow immediately when I do that. I, well, that's just physics, right? It's rotating along. It's going to shallow out. But then also it works so good because it takes you out of the equation. It takes you, you when you're holding it like this, there's you, no. You don't have enough power in your hands and yes. arms. If I'm just holding it like this, I can't. It feels delicate. Yeah, so I feel like I'm <laughs> holding a delicate little thing. You're holding the delicate thing. And it naturally just wants to fall in line and do what I want it to do. And do what you Which, want to do. In my golf swing, that's what happens naturally. But for most of our students, most people I see, I know you're working with the, the guys over at Elite. We've just done some videos with them. I know they see the same problem, I'm sure, is people get here and ah! Yes, and I feel like too, the way you're holding it, and it also really forces you to be soft and smooth through the transition. Yeah, because you can't be jerky. You can't apply much you, force. You can't if you apply do it, much force. The, the thing will fly away. You got to be patient. So you you got to be a lot smoother. So and you, so now you're starting to move more like a wave instead of a up down herky jerky mess. Okay. So we understand that it does work. Now we both have to show everybody how to hit a ball like That's this. That's right. So we understand how to make the club move, it swings, shallows out. Now I've got to deliver it into the back of that ball without losing this ball. Well, I'm going to lose it into the desert, but we'll go find it in a minute. So start with so it start up. start with it up. Yeah. Oh, and I shanked it. <laughs> Dad gum it. You show me how to do it. All right, we'll have to see if I can do it. I'm not hopeful. Takes a little practice. It's, I, I not, it's not easy. It's not easy. But what, what, it's, what we're getting after here is a new pattern, right? It's a new pattern. It's not really about hitting the ball well, because you're not going to no. hit the ball like this. You're just trying to learn to move energy better, be soft, be patient. Oh, you hit it good. And get it done. Open face, you hit cut, but wipey slice. But I hit a toe shank. i got to try <laughs> one more time. i got to try that again. Let me see if I can find the, the bottom with it. Come on. I keep swinging inside the ball and hitting it right on the tip of the toe. That oh, was that was good. That was the best one. <laughs> I still towed it, but it was pretty good. <laughs> that was the best one though. It was good. Yeah, that was good. So, the moral of the story here is, if we can take away some of the strength and the control in our hands, we can start to find some new patterns. Yep. And new patterns is what some of us are after. Mm -hmm. So this is an awesome drill. If you're looking to figure out how to stop yanking down on the club, how to stop steepening it, play the flute. Play the flute. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and come over and follow me and my team here at MiloLinesGolf.com where we can help coach you one-on-one. -on -one.